This is a Smart Words Reader book. This is Rocks and Minerals. Chapter 1, Earth Rocks. You can kick rocks, collect rocks, and even skip rocks across a pond. But rocks are much more than stones that you find in the ground. In fact, rocks make up most of planet Earth. Huge chunks of rock make up mountains. Tiny pieces of rock make up sand. Wherever you walk, rock is somewhere beneath your feet. Yes, Earth really rocks. You already know that rocks are hard and have different shapes and sizes, but did you know that they are actually made up of a combination of different things? The main ingredient in rocks is minerals. Minerals are Earth's living, non-living natural materials. The types of minerals and how they combine determine what kind of rock will form. A rock is a solid mixture of minerals that makes up Earth. You can start to learn about nature, how nature mixes minerals together by looking at this rock. It is a piece of granite. Can you see the three minerals that make up granite? The pink mineral is feldspar. The gray mineral is quartz. And the black mineral is mica. I'll bring that closer. So again, a rock is a solid mixture of minerals that makes up earth. And a mineral is a non-living natural material that is the building block of rocks. How do minerals and granites get together? To find out, you must first take a look inside the earth. We live on a hard, rocky outer layer of the earth. This is called the earth's crust. On average, the crust is 20 miles thick that's 32 kilometers. If you compared the earth to an apple, the crust would be the peel. The next layer down is the mantle. The mantle is 1,800 miles um, thick, or 2,897 kilometers. It's made up of minerals and rock. Temperatures are so hot that the rock melts. This red hot liquid rock is called magma. That at the very center of the earth is the core. It's main, uh, mainly made of iron. The outer core is liquid, but the inner core is solid. Temperatures here are as hot as the sun's surface. The layers of earth work together like a giant rock factory. But how does the factory work? Where does the earth get materials to make new rocks? The answer may surprise you. The earth recycles. So again, the crust... Is the very outer layer of the earth, like an apple's peel. The mantle is the thickest layer of the earth, um, and this is under the earth's crust. Then the outer core and the inner core, all right? And this is um, melted rock in the earth's mantle, um, and that is magma. When you recycle an aluminum can, it gets crushed, melted, and made into a new product. Earth's rock cycle works in a similar way. The rock cycle moves materials between the layers of the earth to recycle old rock into new rock. Follow the diagram and see how this really works. It says the rock cycle. Start here and we're gonna follow the arrows. So we're starting right here over time. Rain, ice, and wind break down huge rocks into tiny pieces called sediment. This process is called weathering. Then wind and water carry the sediment away and deposit it in a new place. The layers of the sediment pile up on top of each other, pushing down on the older layers. Water mixes with the minerals um, to cement the particles together, forming rock. As the bottom layers of sediment get pushed deep into the crust um, and upper mantle, temperatures and pressure are tremendous. They are tremendous enough to actually change one type of rock into another. Then if a rock gets pushed all the way into the mantle, it melts and it is now magma. When it escapes to the Earth's surface through a volcano, it bursts out as red hot lava. As the hot lava cools, a new rock forms. Then weathering begins right away and continues the rock cycle to change over and over. 
So the rock cycle is continuous changing of a rock from one type to another. Sediment are small pieces of sand and mud and pebbles and the remains of dead plants and animals. And then weathering is weathering, um, wearing away of a rock over time by water and wind and heat and ice. So some of the words that you've heard thus far, rock, crust, mantle, mineral, magma, rock cycle, sediment, and weathering. Think the outer layer of the earth. You got it, the crust. A solid mixture of minerals that makes up the earth. Mixture of minerals. Good job. Rocks. The layer of the earth under the crust. Mantle. A non-living natural material that makes up rocks. Do you remember what makes rocks? Minerals. Good job. Small pieces of sand and um, mud, pebbles, and the remains of dead animals and plants. Sediment. The way water and wind and heat and ice change rocks over time. Weathering. Good. Melted rock in the earth's mantle. Magma. And the continuous changing of rock from one type to another is the rock cycle. Um, they're now going to talk about um, rocks as individual types of rocks. The first type here is igneous rocks. This is from um, liquid fire. It, rocks made from melted rock that is cooled and hardened are igneous rocks. The word igneous means made of fire. Igneous rocks make up 90% of the earth. What an igneous rock looks like depends on the type of lava that it is made from and how fast it slowed or cooled. Lava is melted um, rock from inside the earth that reaches the surface. The faster lava cools, the smoother it will be. Some magma travels up the earth's crust but never breaks through the surface. Deep within the crust, it cools very slowly, and the slower it cools, the rougher the rock will be. Sedimentary rocks, it says often sediment that has broken off rocks ends up in streams and rivers that can carry um, it down to the ocean. Once there, the sediment drifts to the ocean floor and over time, layers pile up to form sedimentary rocks. The third type of rock is metamorphic rock. Remember that part of the rock cycle where one rock changes into another rock, it's kind of like magic, but it's science. Metamorphic rock is that rock that has changed from one form to another. In fact, um, the name means changed in form. Metamorphic rock forms deep beneath the Earth's surface where there is great heat and pressure. High heat and pressure can change the crystal structure of the minerals of a rock. When this happens, it changes into different kind, kinds of rock. For example, granite, before it was changed, after granite, granite changes into gneiss rock. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And limestone is a rock before it's changed. After it's changed, it changes into marble. Let me um, show you something else real quickly. So we have hand motions that we typically do in third grade to help us remember the three kinds of rock. When we say sedimentary, all right, we do layers upon layers of sedimentary rock. Metamorphic rock, 
then is that next part of the rock cycle, if you can push your hands together to cause pressure, and also as you're causing pressure, doing a little rubbing and pressure, what do you feel? Do you feel heat in your hands? Heat and pressure, metamorphic. And then the last type of rock, rock we call igneous rock, and we make like a volcano, igneous rock. So sedimentary, layer and layer and layer and layer, and all those layers on top of each other eventually cement together. So sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, heat and pressure. You can feel it. Metamorphic rock and igneous rock. Make a volcano.